Hey guys, it's Nana, and today I'm going to show you how I properly clean and organize my Sims 4 folders. A separate video on how to clean tray files. Um, if you're interested, I'll have a link down below. Pretty much the next step, what I would do is go ahead and find some outdated custom content or find custom content that either needs a mesh or it needs a replacement or maybe needs an update. I think it's very important to find out what custom content you want to keep and what custom content you really do not want to keep. Now for me, I like to split my custom content into two sections. So there's one that I use for gameplay and there's one that I would use for cast. Now it just totally depends because some of these items could be used for both, but anything I would use in my game I would put into my let's play folder and anything that I would so not use during my normal gameplay goes in gas. One of the ways that I find the easiest doing this is to make a list of things that I will never use in my game. Now there are two ways of doing this. First you could remove the unwanted CC but I like to do this after so that I can see clearly if I think something is worth it. Uh, worth getting the mesh for for example or that I just want to get rid of it totally mm, I want to find some things that I'm only going to use in my gameplay, right? So let's find everything that I would not use in my gameplay Let's find everything that bothers me that I think no, I would never use that in my gameplay Skins and you're like wow I really do not want any of these skins and I have to go back and do this like five times I'm going to show you a trick. So just get one sim get a sim extra why did you just not get a second sim extra? Let's get four sims in total. Okay, so let's go, let's get four sims in total. So it doesn't matter as long as they're all female because I'm going to focus on the females um, for now. So this sim had um, this skin tone that I'm really not into right now. Like this skin tone is fine, but for everyday gameplay, it's just way too shiny for me. It's just not doing it. So that's this one. Then I have this one that is pretty much, I think, the same. And I have four, two other ones, three other ones. I have a bunch of other ones, pretty much. So click on the next sim, do the exact same thing, find a skin that you're like, nope, two sims, get as much as you need. For example, I like to get as much sims as I have my skin. So let's say I have three skin tones, four right now that I don't like. I'm gonna stick to four sims, load them up with different hair, different eyebrows, different clothes, different pants, and different shoes, and load them up in our next program. So I'm gonna do that real quick, show you guys how that looks when I'm done, and I'll be right back. Also a tip, if you have hairs that require a mesh, you have to put the mesh together with the hair. So for example, um, I think this hair is the mesh of this hair, and the only way for this hair to work is if the two of them are together in the game. So even if you want to keep this one for gameplay and this one for cast, there's no other way than having to use them in the same folder. It just doesn't work without the mesh. So that's just a tip I want to give you guys in case you're like, but my hair stopped working. Obviously, it needs the mesh. Obviously, this is a very long process depending on how much custom content you have. So I'm going to show you guys a slight bit of how to do it because of course, for me actually having to go through everything might take a few hours. This is like a deep cleanse. It's not something you just do, you know, because, you know, you feel like it because you have nothing to do for half an hour. This is something that's probably going to take you like like an hour or maybe two or maybe three depending like i said how much custom content you have okay so now we're in our game let's go ahead and find our family that we just created so this is the sims for train porter i'll have a link in the description box down below where you can download this this is a very handy program i'm not going to go into too much depth on how this program works but just imagine the second you save a sim, a family, a house, anything, it appears here on the left and all you have to do is click on it to find out exactly what. So we're not going to use the tray file because obviously we don't really need that. We don't need the file section for this. We only need the CC section. For you guys, I didn't realize I had an outdated version. This before I started, but now that I updated it, everything works fine. Okay. So what you'll need to do is go on the you know, the family just made. So here is the four beautiful Sims. <laughs> and here is the, dun, 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 here are the mods installed. So I have 26 of them. It's around, you know, 150 MB, it's not much. So what you want to do is go ahead and first of all, take a look. I, I know there are some files that are not found or some meshes. Um, it could say whatever, but I'm not going to focus on that too much. We're just going to focus on the things that 
do work. So um, for this, for example, we have jumpsuit, fairy tale hair, the boots, everything like that. So now we know that these are the ones that we want to keep. So what would I do? Okay. Put my moss folder and here are my moths. So what I'm going to do just for now is make a new folder. I don't recommend doing this in your um, folder of the Sims mods forecast the basic folders that i would make so it kind of speaks for itself i would just go ahead and say i don't have one for skin but that's fine i'll make one so let's go ahead and show the containing folder so this is the exact one it's mods i downloaded on the 5th of january 2017 i would just go ahead cut that and um find my folder and plop it over here. Now you're gonna notice it's not going to work because my game is still open. It's closed. This would actually work, right? Let's say I wanna go ahead and get rid of some, you know, faulty custom content. So let's get back into our game. And um, let's uh, let's find some things that totally do not work. So let's uh, get rid of everything. Just get rid of the hat. Let's get rid of the skin. Okay, so I'm sure I have some hair that totally doesn't work so there's two options i could do and i know for a fact this one doesn't work there we go so let's say i have this hair right i'm not gonna fuss too much about it i'm gonna take off her other clothes because we already have that so let's take off your shoes you are completely a nude let's go ahead and um call this faulty I actually should have removed the other sims. Also as faulty CC. Now she should pop up. That doesn't work. It's this one. And now there are a few things we could do. We could go ahead and get the mesh for it. Or we could just decide to get rid of it. This is totally dependent on you. But if you want to go ahead and find the mesh, all you go is um all you do is go into Google and you know Google the name and see if you can find the mesh. Or you could just go ahead and click on show containing folder, see where it is, here it is, and then just go like that and delete it. Obviously it's not gonna work because the game is open. But you get the drill, just do it like that. I would normally kind of organize my game. I don't have um, everything inside folders. I stopped um, <laughs> putting them in the right folders and I started to make use of just individual folders of the month. This is something I do anyway. I download something new, I put it into a folder of the month. I test it out if I like it. I'll put it away if I don't like it at least I know which one is the latest one that I downloaded and I know that one is faulty or that's the one I'm looking in it doesn't take you too much effort depending on how much is in there usually like four or five items but if there's like 20,000 items you might want to use this method to um, figure out which one you want to keep Another tip I want to give you is to regularly clean these so sometimes you can have four of these but right now I only have two. There's usually four of the little icons. I don't remember the name. I know it really bad of me, but I'm showing you how I clean it. I'm not giving you an explanation how to clean it, right? <laughs> so uh, I normally would just go here and get rid of the cache. There's like three or four with blah, 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 blah cache. And you want to delete this because it kind of gets rid of the bugs in your game. So that's a tip I want to give you because sometimes it really works. Another thing I want to give you as a tip is to definitely go ahead and clean these things. Clean your screenshots. Now I have a bunch of screenshots that I use. I even keep a bunch of old screenshots in a folder called new folder. And I like to kind of clean these out when it gets too much. And I just go ahead and clean the things I don't need. I usually take screenshots for... Um, um, like let's play videos or whatever but I don't really tend to update it too much so it's technically like I, I don't know I don't really use much screenshots but for example I did a cast and I took some screenshots of that um, cast video so there you go it's gassy it's, uh, that's kind of what it looks like and this is like some older ones that I just kept because you know why not right go ahead and clean it out sometimes mine is only one gig but it could go up pretty high pretty fast without you knowing it and it's just unnecessary space so go ahead and uh, i would suggest cleaning that out thing i would do and i don't do this very often this is like i said a very deep cleanse load game file and just take out everything that you don't need so for example i have one of these I have one of my personal gameplay. This is an older version of Road to Fame that just stopped working. Then I have my um, Pets Let's Play that I don't really use. And I have an old one for cats and I have this old one. Old one when Parenthood came out and then I have this random one. So I probably can get rid of this because I don't really need it. And cats I just kind of use whatever for it. I think at least I do. 
don't really know what to use for casts these days, but I know I don't use, I don't need this one anymore, so I'll get rid of that. And I don't need this because that one is going great. So I have a personal one and then I have this one. Uh, let's play it with it. 30, yeah, that's free in January. I'm not gonna use this. And this one was used last year, so I'm not gonna use this anyway. I'm done doing all of this. This is what my folder would look like. It's all really organized. It's all kind of up to date. I take out the ones that are only for cast and I only use it at the time that I need it and I'll probably keep it somewhere in my documents or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter where I keep it as long as it runs smoother, it takes out whatever is bugging it and um, it also makes you more aware of what you have and what you really need and what you use. And this in Versa really does make your game run faster at times. And um, and when a certain pack comes up, I take out all the mods, I put them back in, and then I kind of go through them and see which one bugs the game. That's what it would look like when I'm done. This is obviously just how I like to do it, so it's not a tutorial in any kind of way, but maybe you got some inspiration from it to keep updated on your things. Don't forget to always scan your computer after going uh, on download spree, that's for freaking sure. You never know what you're gonna get on your computer and don't forget to delete your cookies because those ads are hella annoying. Hey, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!